Here are some tips and tricks for creating proper prompts in Stable Diffusion. This is a free AI image generator you can download. I'm using Automatic 11.11 and that's the interface you're looking at here. So I thought I'd explain the prompts and my workflow and how I approach prompts. So it's going to depend on what model you're using. I'm currently using the Pony model. So all of my prompts require this score system at the front to kind of get good images. So you're going to have to read carefully the model you're on. So you go to Civit AI and you download models and that's like kind of the style you're after. It's like downloading Vincent van Gogh or downloading Picasso. Like that's what a model is. So the one I'm using is Pony. You'll have to search through Civit AI to find the one you want. And the requirement for this is have clip skip set to two. I've done a video on how to install this if you want, but go into your settings and figure it out. And then <clears throat> this is where you have to add this at the start. So depending on what model you're using, you might not have to do that. So if you can see here, I've separated it with a comma and I've also put it in brackets or parentheses, whatever you want to call it. So the more brackets you put on it, the more weight it actually has. So if I do that, it's going to put more weight into this kind of prompt. So let's just like fill this out a little bit more uh, and we'll try, I'll show you how I got to like this battle babes quality of AI generated art. So what you want to do is give it as much detail as possible. The more detail you can put into it, the more accurate the result you're after. Um, so depending on the lighting, the, the model pose, like all of this, you need to just sit and think and really maybe go into ChatGPT and brainstorm a good prompt. Like you can even use ChatGPT to like help you out. But essentially, I'm creating Battle Babes cards. So I've got to put this in by default. I've got the brackets around it to make sure it spits out a good image every time. And then, okay, now it's time to add my detail. So I'll get a good image no matter what doing this. Now it's like making it Battle Babes. So this is what you do. You explain it in detail here, so the more detail the better. You'd be like, one girl in a fighting stance surrounded by magical energy. Something crazy like that. And then you add your detail afterwards. So give the AI image generator like a scene and then add the detail to it. So I want it to be vibrant, so the color palette is going to pop. I want a forest background so it like fits the overall vibe. And then you can just keep niching down. So then I'd be like, okay, put a choker on. And then it's like, okay, um, necklace. And it's like, it just keeps adding to it. So what I will say is anything you put in to this box, it will try and add it. So a beginner mistake is just throwing a million things in there, like not knowing what you're truly aiming for. So you've got to like paint this picture in your head before you even approach your, your prompt generation. So just know what you need and target it. Then you can target like art styles, um, poses. So you could be like um, portrait. Do you want it to be um, like top half portrait? So I'd be like top half portrait would get me this. And then if you want cleavage you'd have to type in cleavage if you want purple eyes you'd have to type in purple eyes and the more detail the better and it's just over time you just like cultivate the prompt you're after so when i am creating battle babes now i've got like a big prompt with like lines and lines and lines of details that give me this high quality image that you see here so you won't get this exactly you'll get like a a, a JPEG version of this, like low quality, but then you've got to upscale it and then you've got to put it through another upscaler. I've explained in detail how to do that, but for this video, I just wanted to give tips and tricks for the prompt generation. So, um, like I say, the brackets are important. So if you want to target something, put a bracket around it. But the closer um, it is to the original, so one girl is going to get priority over like purple because it's closer to the start of the image gen. So just put everything important at the start and then the more stuff you tack on the more confused it's going to get so you've got to be really specific for the kind of image you want um the lighting you can target lighting so you'd be like moody lighting or dark aesthetic like this is where 
the art form comes in. You've got to really just like play and experiment. So um, that's about everything for creating. You can batch create stuff as well, which is useful. So let's say for my game, Battle Babes, you've got um, a lightning deck, you've got a fire deck, a water deck, blah, blah, blah. Rather than like clicking generate forever on this one prompt, I could set up like a queue of these, open up like a notepad, and then um, I'll show you down here. So click on script, click on prompts from file or text box, and then just do it here like this. So um, each new line break will like add a new prompt. So if I were to generate this, I'll just put like water babe. Then I'll put um, nature babe. So I could queue that and it would load free. So you can like batch load things. And then if you want to upscale all this, you can go into an image to image and then batch the folder like that. So you control C, control V, the copy and paste the folder directory there, take all your images and then output it into that after you've like set all these settings. So that's how you batch produce things. Um, I should have, there's a whole other video on that. So that's, that's my prompt. Waffly and this video has been waffly and crazy as usual, but I've run out of ideas now. What else do you want to see? What other things can I help you with? Love you all. Ask the Easter. Go play Battle Base on Steam. It's on nine reviews. If you can get me to 10, I'll love you. I get a big boost off the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Peace.